Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Scrapping Wonders Traveler's Notebook insert video for you guys. This is the sketch that I'm going to be using. This um, is going to be a little different. I've never actually used a scrapbooking sketch for my Traveler's Notebook, so I thought that it would be a nice little challenge, I guess. Um, a couple other ladies are doing in the design team are doing some sketches this week as well. So first I am taking mostly Chamel little by little papers. I think that is all that I use paper wise. Um, and I'm taking this 12 by 12 paper um, and it is the like navy blue. I don't know if it's navy blue or black. It's I think it's black actually. <laughs> it might be black. Um, I'm taking the star paper, <laughs> the multicolored star paper, and I'm putting two strips on each side. So my take on this was the, the sketch has two photos, but there's just no way that I would be able to fit two photos on one side or one page, I guess. So I'm going to take the sketch and I'm going to mimic it on both sides with one photo on each side. So I'm taking some of the six by six papers. I've already pulled out a couple and now I'm looking through a couple more and I'm going to pull out a couple of those and use those as some of the layers. So the sketch had the big banner across the top um, and then it had a smaller skinny one layered on top of the bigger one going the opposite direction. So that is one of the things that I'm going to take from that sketch and I am going to do it on both sides, just making a little tiny banner. And this layout really didn't take me long at all to complete. Um, it came together super fast. So I guess maybe using sketches in your traveler's notebook is a good thing. I think that um, I didn't have to really sit and think about it too much. I kind of just did it and um, it was super fun to do. So the photos are, one is of my husband sleeping beside me, um, and then me holding our puppy Shady, and that's when we like first got him. That was like, I wanna say we had him for like a week in the first one. And then the second one is me holding him, I think we had only had him for like two weeks, and I was just holding them in the, our living room on the floor and my husband took a picture. And so those are special and I never got my own puppy until I was 30 years old. Now, Greg did get me a puppy when we were dating, but I only had him for a week because I was a college student and I could not take care of a puppy. So my mom took him. If you guys watched the previous video layout, then you guys will know that story. But my mom has him and has had him since he was a little puppy. So I really don't consider him my first puppy because I only had him for, I don't even know if it was a whole week. <laughs> so this is my first puppy. I got my first puppy or family dog. Um, when I was 29. Well, I am still 29. My birthday is next month. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to be 30. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so the title is going to be my puppy. Well, my best friend, my puppy. So on the one side, it says my best friend, or well, my friend, which is from the Schmel little by little six by six paper. I cut that out. And then I'm going to use some enamel dots from the Chamel little by little collection as well. And then I did some layering with one of the journaling cards. I just cut it in half and put half behind one photo and half behind the other. And now I'm going to take some of these stickers um, from the carousel collection and just use a couple of the stars and then one little saying that says, I love you. And then that's it. Super fast, super quick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to go over and check out Beth's Etsy shop, um, Scrapping Wonders, and help her out. She was one of the um, hurricane victims in Florida. So go show her some love. Thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye.